Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. And it's nice weather over here, but I kind of wish with this glass roof that it would start raining at some point and just give us a very nice soundscape. <laughs> anyway, I've changed my keys around a little bit because uh, I complained last time about, uh, you know, using escape to get out of the menus and such. So let's, uh, let's see how that works. So we've got a, like a Honda Civic type thing and a Mini. Um, yeah, let's just get this Katagiri Tamago, Griffin Tyro, yeah. Story order, bonus 25%. Okay, so this is a story order. Let's get this. For now. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's an uh, interesting color scheme. Uh, needless to say, this has been crashed quite a few times. All right. Uh, car status. What do they want? Brake fluids, coolant, and windscreen. Oh, let's move it. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. Alright. So it wants everything changed. Uh, so we're gonna do it properly. We're gonna use the drain tool on that. We're gonna use the drain tool on the steering fluid. Can I just do it like this? Yes, I can. Very nice. So now if I want to get out, I can just press F. There we go. Which is right next to, of course, WASD. Which is very nice. Okay. Um, coolant brake windscreen. Oh, I didn't want the power steering. See, I'm being an, an idiot. As per usual. But hey, the customer deserves the best. Alright, so now the... There, coolant. Um, hello? No, I, no, I didn't want to add it to the list. No, F, get that out of here. What's going on? So let's go here. Let's use the drain tool. Okay. Why can I not drain it? Oh, because that's the coolant, I guess. Okay. Makes sense. Of course, this is not an older car. <clears throat> All right. So now we can actually... No, wait. I need this. Interesting music. That radiator is in tip-top shape. Look at that. No broken fins or anything like that. Windshield washer fluid. Let's add that. And of course, also the power steering fluid, despite the fact that the customer did not ask for that. But hey, we're so nice, we do that anyway. Free of charge! Alright, there we go. Excellent. And now let's go to the brakes as well. And that should be it. That's kind of going into the uh, battery there. Oh, that's okay. My nose is itchy like crazy. This must be stuff in the air I'm allergic to, unfortunately. Well, I'm allergic to freaking everything. All right, that's it already. Um, we get 148. Yeah, that's not much. And if I uh, do something by mistake, yeah, that's even less than. Wow, that's an old Golf. Uh, and I like a... Um, uh, like an Impreza, I guess? Bonus 25% XP. Why is this one bonus 25% XP? I don't really understand. Maybe because you need to find stuff on your own? I don't know. Let's let's take it. Wow. This one got destroyed as well. What is going on with the cars in this place? Oh, it's Hawaii. Are we in Hawaii then? It doesn't look like Hawaii. It looks more like Nevada or something. Alright, um... Right, let's uh, let's move the car. Or maybe it was imported from Hawaii just now. All right, what does it need? Uh, coolant fluid. That's it. Okay. See here, I still have to press escape for some reason. So it just says refill. It doesn't say. Yeah. It doesn't say uh, drain. 
I mean, I would have drained it. If, if I was an actual mechanic, I would have just drained the whole thing and filled it up. You know. There we go. And that's it. That was uh, the easiest job ever. 25. Yeah, <laughs> we really did not make much money considering we also have to pay for the coolant. Uh, poor brake performance. Okay. That's going to be easy. Now what we can do is actually take this Audi. Yeah, it's like an Audi A4. Actually, it's so jeez, the panels. Um it's it's so small it might actually be an Audi A3. I'm not sure though. Anyway, uh let's take this car for test drive. Um How do we do that again? Oh yeah, move the car. No. Got to go inside. It's actually a manual. Look at that. Alright. Drive the car. <laughs> Can go to racetrack. Uh, speed track. Yeah, test car. So we'll quickly know which uh, brakes are bad. I suppose that would be an the easier... Jeez. Holy moly. Well, it's obviously a turbo. It like you stole it. I really hope mechanics don't do that. I mean, I, I've seen videos of uh, mechanic shops do stuff like this uh, to people's cars, and it's not pretty. But yeah. But the the good thing is now we know exactly what is broken, so we don't have to go through it ourselves. Uh, so now, if we go to the car status, we should be able to just do this. And now we know exactly which which uh, things we have to change on which sides, which is pretty nice. Can I? Can I? Oh yeah, we have to actually use the lift first. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Slovakia. What? How does that work? <laughs> I guess it just puts like license plates from all over the world in the game. That's kind of funny. Okay, so we need to change this. Uh, let's add it to shopping list. Break caliper. Also that. Break pad. Okay. And this uh, disc is okay. It appears. I think this car has bigger problems. And then just the discs. I mean, the entire freaking... Oh, yeah, this one needs the discs. The entire freaking body is just mangled. I don't know what the heck happened. Let's add it to the shopping list. Okay. What else do we have here? Yeah, we definitely have discs back here as well. Well, I will say it's kind of nice to, uh, that in this game, when you're taking uh, screws off and on, it actually uh, locks the mouse in place, so you can't, you know, move it away while you're uh, while you're taking the screws off. But on the other hand, that was a pretty nice feature in the previous games because you could just hold the mouse button down here, and then as soon as it was done, move it over here, move it over here, and so on and so forth. Now you can't because it's lock. It locks it there. You see, it actually resets it to a sort of a weird position. Yeah, see, on the top. Because if I hold it over here, look where it's going to reset it. Oop. Yeah. Anyway, it's just a minor complaint. You know, quality of life thing that they can... Uh, they can change quite quickly, I would say. Alright. So that's that, and I forgot to put it on the shopping list. 
So, shopping list, uh, break a caliper. Let's do that. We only... Do we really only need one? And then brake pads. I'm pretty sure we need two. Uh, brake disc ventilated. And brake disc. Oh man, this is so much nicer buying it like this. Because um, if you remember before, I had to remember which stuff to buy. And, and I got confused and ugh. So, I'm guessing these are okay as well. I bought one too many, I guess. Right, caliper. I'm gonna put... Well, you want on, why not? It doesn't say what the minimum part stuff has to be. Uh, the minimum condition. Break disc ventilated. Break disc. Uh, we'll, we'll see. It doesn't say, does it? Wait, swap options. You can actually swap new engines in it. That's awesome. Yeah, this is a 308 horsepower. That's like an S3 or something. Um, right, poor brake performance. That's it. Doesn't really say. Oh, conditions. But it doesn't say what the minimum condition is allowed to be. Oh, well. But I'm guessing those are still good. So let's add the parts. Add some brake pads, some new lovely ones. Even though... Wait a second. Uh, yeah, we'll need to do that because it still has... Well, no, let's start with these ones. And then if it needs new ones at the back, we'll do that. Oh, my nose is just itching like crazy. Come on. Uh, fun fact, I had um, I had the oil and filter on my uh, on my car changed a few months ago, and I was oh, wait a second, I was kind of shocked at the uh, the price of it all was what was it like 130 euros or just the filter and the oil uh they didn't have the air filters and such in stock so they didn't change those so it was just the oil and the oil filter and it was like 130 and i thought to myself holy moly i mean for over here i would say that's pretty expensive and uh oh yeah so I've decided to just buy my own stuff and change it myself because that that's just I don't know I'm not that rich I, I cannot afford that that's crazy um so yeah yeah I went to Amazon and I well before I went to Amazon I, I checked a bit around uh what the good reviewed stuff was for uh you know for getting your car up uh, like, I wanted some sort of a ramp type thing that wasn't too big because my garage isn't that huge. And, um, yeah, I wanted to be able to just drive up on it so it's secure. I didn't want to use jack stands and such. And then I wanted a, uh, you know, one of those oil containers. Uh, and I wanted... You know, a filter, the proper filter. I actually found... Okay, that's that's all good. We can finish the order. Uh, I found the original oil filter for my car uh, with the original oil and everything provided and gaskets and such. And if I buy everything, including the tools, all the tools that I need to change th the stuff, it still comes down to less. It's like 120 euros or something. And I only need to buy that once, and then only need to buy, like, uh, gaps. I only need to buy, uh, you know, filters and and fuel, um, fuel, uh, and oil and such next time. So, it's just, it, it is a no-brainer, um, to change your own oil. I don't know why I haven't been doing it myself before. Power steering and windscreen washer. Alright. I think you get bigger problems with this. Alright, so, power steering. Let's drain it. 
because they want that. And washer. There we go. Let's also get rid of that. Alright, and now we can just add new stuff. But the gaps in this car. <laughs> just insane. Absolutely insane. I'm also going to be uh, cleaning the intake manifold and EGR uh, probably tomorrow. And that's going to be a hell of a dirty job. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the intake and EGR being clean, though. But holy moly. Oh, look at that. That's like a... Oh, that'd be like... Like a Hyundai or something? I don't know. Suspension feels loose or... Hi, my name's Joanna. I was referred here by my neighbor. Uh, he's a car dealer. I hear that your repair shop has been up and running since quite recently, but you look like a promising mechanic. It is almost annual service time. My buddy doesn't seem to have any problems, but I'll leave that for you to decide. <clears throat> Please change the oil filters and fill the missing fluids. I haven't had the time for that recently. John mentioned that there was tapping in the camshaft? I don't know what he meant. Perhaps it'll make more sense to you. Please take care of my car. Have a good day. Uh-oh. That's gonna be an interesting one. Camshaft problems, huh? Well, this is a, this one is in okay shape. It's a little slightly bit dirty, but wow, compared to the other ones, this one is actually uh, in tip-top shape. All right, so can we check the oh, wait a second the camshafts? No oil, brilliant. How do these people get over here? Yeah, that's a, that's a mini. It is completely a mini. All right. I suppose we didn't really need to do that, but. Uh, so first I'll, I'll also want to actually drain the fuel, uh, not the fuel, the oil. Um, so let's see what it says. Change oil, other tasks. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff that needs changed. Part not discover spark plugs as well. Alright, first of all, let's uh, drain any oil that's remaining there. doesn't work. Now it does. Yeah, that was very little oil there. Alright, let's take the oil filter off, actually. I uh, should have added it. Uh, oil filter. So what do we do with this stuff? We can sell it, but can I... Can I, uh... Repair it? I don't know. Oh, sell the parts, condition below. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like this. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Case. What? What is this? Yes. Open the case. Um. What? Pick two cards. Please don't tell me this is going to have, like, microtransactions. And another bonus case. Open next case. One location map and another bonus case. <laughs> bonus 28 something? What is that like? Skill points? We're just getting bonus cases everywhere. Barn location map and some more money. That was weird. You want to add barn destination to your map? Yes. Yes. Okay. That was uh, interesting. Alright, um, right, back to this. Uh, we've drained the fuel, and before we do anything, I think I want to buy a new oil filter. Because, otherwise... See, and here it's enter. Because otherwise, we'll probably, I will probably forget. And then I'll add the oil, and it'll be a huge mess. Did we actually need to change that? Oil filter. Yes, we did. 
I mean, you should always change it if you're changing the oil anyway. Uh, right. And before we add any oil, let's also check all the other stuff. Well, actually, we could... Hmm, I don't know if the test would show anything wrong with the engine if we were to drive it now. I mean, with the oil, of course. Well, we can already see that those two sparks are pretty bad. And let me add them to the shopping list. Uh, so that. And then, well, let's see the camshaft. Not really following the star order here. Uh, yeah, that camshaft is pretty bad. I believe that if you were to do this, you'd have to also take the timing chains off or belts and then redo the timing because obviously the camshaft is connected to the timing. Uh, so I think that would be required, but I'm not that mechanically inclined to know. Yeah, ah, <laughs> it, it, it is actually telling us to do that. So uh, yeah, we'll probably have to get the timing cover off. Oh, there's another timing cover here. Fortunately, the timing stuff isn't so involved in this game, I don't think. Um, you don't actually have to be extremely careful and do this and that. Because, yeah, timing uh, an engine is a little bit more involved. Okay, take the island roller off. And then take the belt off. Quite a lot of the engine we have to take apart to actually change that camshaft. There we go. Lovely. And now we can take the tensioner off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I cannot, I just cannot tell you how much my nose itches. It, it is just insane. Oh. I know maybe that's not what you want to hear, but. It is just so incredibly annoying. Oh, also, that roller looked to be in a pretty bad condition. We'll take that off as well. And I keep forgetting that I need to add this stuff to my inventory. So, we need an idle roller. That's bad. That's bad. The cam jab, the belt is bad. The tensioner is bad. Uh, obviously, the two spark plugs, which we've already added. The ignition coil is bad. And the fuel filter, apparently, as well. So, let's sell all the parts. Uh, you know what? Everything was below 40%, really. There. Okay. Everything else seems to be okay. Now, I don't know. It would be nice if I could just... Uh, do this and just buy it from here directly. That's that. Serpentine belt. Uh, belt tensioner. See, I want to press space here, but it just keeps changing the stuff. Ignition coil, fuel filter. I'm gonna buy this anyway. And there's a camshaft. Not quite... Well, not that expensive, really. But, yeah, it is. Uh, idle roller A. Okay, get rid of that. Now, we gotta go to... Uh, how do we get out of here? I think that's supposed to be like the electronic shop. Yeah. So two spark plugs. And then the ignition coil. And just the one. All right. That's all good. Now, hopefully I didn't overbuy stuff. Why do I... See, I have to press the escape here again to get out. All right. Now we go to part mounting. We'll add the camshaft first. Those spark plugs look okay. Not great, but they're okay. Mind you, if I, if you were changing spark plugs, you'd want to change all of them. Yeah, my, my nose is just killing me. There must be something in the air that's just playing havoc with my uh, allergies. Also doesn't help that I've been without my antihistamines for like a, almost a week. Uh, I do have them now, but yeah. it takes a while to kick in, I suppose. God, it's annoying. Time and cover. All right. That's good. 
I do like how everything is modeled nicely and detailed and it looks good. It's just very nice to see. The, the nice new camshaft. That was a nice sound putting it in. Idle roller. A nice new one. Shiny one. Power steering. Do not overfill. Use only approved fluid. There we go. And then the tensioner. And then we can put the copper on. Lovely. Those are some really long bolts. All right. Oh, yeah. The pulley as well. And then the belt. And the tensioner. There. And, oh, the idle roller. If you think about it, modern... Well, I mean, modern any internal combustion engine is pretty much a marvel. There are so many moving mechanical parts acting on each other and, you know, having to, to work in harmony. It's just, it's, it's insane. It is completely insane to me. Also, what's even more insane to me is uh, how fast some of this stuff spins and how how many how many g-forces are are upon the pistons and such it's just boggles the mind okay that's that there's no wires going to the ignition coils that's a bit of a shame uh so no oil there yet we got brake pads rubber bushings that are going to be on the suspension i'm just gonna indicate those because otherwise you know we have to wait to be looking for them so I think at this point I am going to add the oil because I think we'll have to drive this car to see what else is wrong. Might be just something at the brakes or something in the suspension. There we go. That's that. The brake. The brakes are oh well, yeah, they're below minimum. So let's do that as well. Uh, in fact, let's drain this. Because she did say the uh, the brakes were acting bad, so this might be one of the problems, really. But we want to add nude fluid. I mean, it doesn't take m much of a difference. It doesn't make much much of a difference in the price. See, this is fourteen. I don't think we would have saved much by uh, by just adding it. So that's uh, power steering. We could add a little bit more. There we go. Just needed a slight top off. ABS module is fine. We can also do the washer fluid. There we go. Alright. Coolant fluid is good. Oh yeah. I could change the air and uh, filter as well, I suppose, but let's check. Maybe it is bad. Yeah, that doesn't look too great, but... 82%, that's fine, actually. So never mind that. Okay. Now, let's check the suspension. And brakes. Yeah, I see the uh, the pads are going to need changing. There we go. Brake caliper is okay. But the pads... Well, it, they don't look that bad. Yeah, 25%. They do need changing. Let me just put that on there. All right, and we can just sell it. Uh, sell, which is enter. So annoying. And then I've got two of these, and if I, uh, I can only delete both. Never mind. All right, let's get the bushings as well. Fortunately, we can just take these out. Uh, let me add it. Let's go to the other bushing. Add that as well. Let's go to the other side. See if there's anything wrong here. 
Yeah, the pad looks pretty bad as well. And for this one, we don't really have to change it. I mean, add it to the uh, shopping list because we already had. Yeah, I think it's pretty rusty. Also, the disc looks extremely rusty. Let's see. That is 24%. Where is my inspection tool? I kind of missed that inspection option where you could... Uh, I'm just going to add the ventilated disc because I think it's... A, yeah, it's 14%. What about the other one? No, no, that, one, that one's okay. Uh, I can't really see. I think that part is okay. I'm going to take the rubber bushing out. And I forgot to actually put it on the shopping list. So I'm going to do two of these. And I believe that's it. I can't really see much else wrong. Oh, no, no. That pad needs changing as well. Right, the brake caliper looks good and the disc looks excellent. But this thing, not so much. All right, now we should have gotten... No. One more part. Hmm. So we've done that. Brake pads on all four. Brake disc ventilated. I'm guessing it's uh, here. Oh yeah, that brake pad. It is indeed quite rusty. Let's take that off. There we go. But apparently there's one more thing. Unless that was the, the thing that we haven't discovered. Uh, no. Part not discovered. Huh. It must be something in the engine bay then. Maybe that disc? But it doesn't look that bad. Oh yeah, 27. Okay, so it's not as... Uh, it's not as rusty looking, even 27%. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to support my channel in other ways. And yeah, otherwise, have a good one. Bye-bye.